Hello, everyone. My name is Max Ostermeyer, and I'm the CEO and founder of Implantata of Thermic Products GmbH. We are a German-based company, and we are working on a product which is going to transform glaucoma care. So let me start with two statements first. Actually, the progress made in glaucoma care in the last decades, in our view, has been rather marginal. All new therapeutic strategies are rather for the eye doctor, not so much for the patients. Improvements in efficacy have been just modest and in regard of duration, just limited. So what would be really disruptive and transformative in glaucoma care? It would be products empowering glaucoma patients. Right now we don't, do ha we don't have that. And it would be products providing better information to the eye doctor about the condition and situation of patients for personalized and better therapy. Because that, at the end, will result in better outcome and also better quality of life. So what is Implanta doing in order to reach that? Actually, we are combining med technology with high tech. So Internet of Things is a term which is in the news lately a lot. And are by that able to deliver actionable information to the eye doctor and empowerment to patients. Because that will make glaucoma care much more efficient and at the end successful. EyeMate, your guardian for eye pressure. Increased intraocular pressure is causing visual field loss with glaucoma patients over time. In order to better guard and monitor the eye pressure, it is now possible to implant a tiny microsensor for measuring intraocular pressure. During standard cataract surgery, the clouded natural intraocular lens of the patient is removed. Thereafter, the foldable artificial lens is implanted into the patient's eye, a procedure performed in the last decade millions and millions of times. In addition to that, the flexible iMate microsensor is inserted through the same incision created for lens implantation. The iMate is placed in front of the artificial lens, but behind the iris, not visible from the outside. Post-surgery treatment is the same as after a cataract surgery procedure. The patient usually does not feel any implant irritation, and vision is established within a very short time. From now on, it is possible to take eye pressure readings anytime. For that purpose, each patient will have his own iMate handheld device, the mesograph. And patients are empowered to take single or serial measurements with ease by themselves and in their normal environment. The measured eye pressure is displayed and stored. The patient's eye pressure can be automatically transferred wirelessly to his eye doctor, who is informed about the disease status of his patient at any time. Thus, iMate is allowing patients to monitor and guard their disease and enabling eye doctors to better medicate and manage their patients. So as you have seen, the system consists of a tiny implant, which is powered from the outside, Measurement can be initiated by the, uh, by the patient, but can be also done automatically. The patient's data then is sent to the doctor's office via a cloud-based database, by which the eye doctor gets an early alert if there's something wrong with this patient. And on the other hand, that same data can be sent to the patient by a, uh, via a smartphone app, so a patient would know exactly how his condition is. And we are also combining that smartphone app with a uh, medication reminder so that every time a patient has to take a certain drug, he gets a reminder, autom a reminder automatically. And through that app, uh, the patient can also get in touch with the doctor's office. So it's really a complete um, concept. It's not just a device. It's really the whole integration in remote patient care is really important for glaucoma patients. Here, some real life example. So here you see a patient who, after surgery, had a steroid reaction, and by that, the pressure went up drastically in the 30s and 40s. That was detected early on before any harm can be done to the uh, patient's eyes. And by changing medication, pressure of the patient went where it needs to be. Here another example. Pressure, uh, a patient was initially under beta blockers, and uh, 
pa the patient has pretty high pressures and a lot of fluctuation of the pressure, which is, of course, unwanted. By changing medication from beta blockers to prostaglandins, pressure dropped significantly and was stable. And that's exactly what you need uh, and want to do with uh, IOP. Here's some data on patients' compliance. These patients initially haven't been too compliant, uh, and the investigators found it out. Uh, and after talking to the patient, um, they became aware that it's important that they take the medication on a regular basis, and that that can be controlled by themselves, but of course also by the eye doctor. We are working on various design versions in regard of the implant because there is different patient situations. There are patients undergoing cataract surgery, there are patients undergoing glaucoma sur uh, surgery, and each of these patients needs to have a, a, a specific solution. On the other hand, there is cataract surgeons using our implant, but there is also glaucoma surgeons, and they might want, uh, want to use a different uh, sensor design. And you can do that as a permanent implant, but you can do that also as a temporary device measuring the intraocular pressure. And the next step then would be to combine it with therapeutic devices, like uh, integrated in, integrating it in intraocular lenses or in glaucoma drainage devices. And the holy grail would be to establish a, a closed loop system by which the sensor tells a therapeutic device to take action to reduce intraocular pressure automatically, because that would eliminate all, any glaucoma um, compliance issues. So where are we standing right now? Actually, we have so far implanted more than 30 patients. Longest follow-up is for six years. We haven't seen any safety issues. The data we get from the sensors are accurate and precise. And we see already initial efficacy data means we see that it makes a difference if a patient is closely monitored or not. We are working on a broad line of complementary products, as said, for various patient situations. And most importantly, we have already established that system for remote patient care. Um, we are right now in the CE marking process. First market launch will be next year. And overall, we are the most advanced company in that area, owning also pretty strong uh, IP. Here again, some timelines, as said, for the very first version, we will have CE marking by mid of next year. We are working on a second complementary version uh, where we do um, first in human early next year, followed by CE marking. And we are also working on a first IDE study here in the US for getting a pivotal study started um, later in 2017. Okay, in summary, our products are going to empower patients and this is going to make a difference. Right now, patients cannot do so much, just take their medication and hope that everything is fine. But there is no way for them to really control how they are doing. With our sensor, they will know exactly, it makes a difference if I take my medication or not. On the other hand, we are really providing valuable information to the eye doctor. Eye doctor will learn early on how patients are doing, how they respond to certain medication, if medication needs to be changed, or if they need to do surgery early on because medication doesn't work for a patient at all. This digital health feature is going to be really important um, because for elderly patients, it's always nasty to go to the doctor's office. Um, by our device, they can take pressure uh, readings by themselves with ease at home. Patients stay sent to the doctor's office and they just need to show up at the doctor's office when it's really needed. As mentioned, First products will be in the market soon. Um, and we believe, together with our advisors in the scientific area, that this has the potential to really transform glaucoma care, providing better therapies to patients, and at the end, providing also better, better quality of life to patients and their families. Here's some more information, uh, contact data. I look forward to get any, any feedback or questions from you. Thank you very much.